station because we are headed to Kohoku region now um, where it's more up north and we're gonna see all the festivals. Now we're gonna go grab some really cute bento boxes because apparently that's a thing and break them on the train. We're going on the bullet train. How, Mark, how fast does the bullet train go? Uh, about 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers an hour. Not as fast as I can run. <laughs> We took the JR rail to the Tohoku region of Japan. I suggest getting a JR pass if you're exploring beyond Tokyo. We're on the train now. More importantly, I get to eat now. <laughs> and we leave right on time, 11.25 with our departure and we've just started moving. Japan waits for no one. I had a whole box of uni, which was indulgent and delicious. There were so many different types of bento boxes, even ones that could heat themselves up with just a pull of a string. Here's our hotel in Morioka can navigate the streets through underground tunnels so we're like mole people by the way i put on my komodo by myself today pretty impressed with myself i want to take a better photo with it since the photo i had on the day that i had it on was not that great so i'm just walking the streets with it on right now Mushroom, but it's a tuna eyeball, guys. <laughs> Time to eat an eyeball. This is really good. Like. Squeeze a lemon, right? Oh, yeah, maybe I'll squeeze a lemon on it, yeah. you know? Oh, this is an actual, like, ball. ball. Like, I don't think you need that. Yeah, you uh, Regardless, I'm not eating that. Well, there's so many parts to it. I have the collagen and whatever this brown thing is. We don't know what it is. That's a big piece. <laughs> It's very, very fishy. Good experience. Now Mark can enjoy the rest of it. Oh, great. <laughs> I heard that hoshishimi was something to try in Japan, so I did. It was quite similar to a beef carpaccio. Also, this restaurant had rose-scented toilet paper. Our first festival of this trip was the Sansa Odori Festival, where over 10,000 taiko drummers and dancers parade through the city. It is listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the largest taiko drum festival in the world. before we head to Ikita, Akita for a festival tonight as well. I actually love this little city. There's so much to see and do. So I'm excited to get the chance to explore. Dad's favorite things, a bakery, right dad? Yeah, uh -huh. Is this your, your, in your element right here? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, more hot dogs. Ugh, but they don't have the same one that I had yesterday, which was really good. This food. Oh, I think I need to try one of these. People have told me that these are really good. Yeah. It's like little rice and seaweed oh. with flavoring on the inside. Yeah. Noodles. You can get pancakes. <laughs> oh my god, you can get little mochi matcha desserts here. Ah! Guys, look at all this. I'm gonna get some of this. I'm gonna get some of uh where is it? This, I'm gonna get all of these chips here. I they have mini QP mayo. This is my favorite mayo. Oh, I could put it in my pocket. I right, tried my first rice thingy experience. 
on the street. <laughs> Perfect seasoning. I didn't try Mr. Donut in Taiwan, but I'm gonna try it here. It's similar to Moran's where you can get like soups and coffee as well. But I just felt like the basic one. I'll show you guys in a second. It's a different texture. Yeah, it's okay. Like more airy. Mm -hmm. It's good. These peaches it's are the massive. Hill. They look like apples. Yeah. What the? <laughs> These grapes look like plums. Guys, so now we're headed to Ikea. We're on the train right now um, to check out the festival that's happening there tonight. We stopped by a night market before heading to the festival to grab some meats. This is where I discovered my new favorite thing in Japan, grilled scallops. Seriously, one of the best things I've ever eaten. behind the scenes of the festival to see how they all prepare for it. They light each and every lantern by hand. The Kanto Festival was probably my favorite out of all the ones we visited. It was so exhilarating watching the performers balance these massive lanterns all on their body parts. They would continue to add more and more bamboo poles at the bottom so that lanterns would go higher and higher. And then I had the best ice cream sandwich I have ever had in all my life. No words can describe this, but if you can find these, buy them all. So they're doing this thing called a wanko soba where it's basically all you can eat um, noodles. So you just keep eating bowls of noodles and try to win against your friends. The bowls are stacking up. So guys, we're in Amori now for the Nebuta Festival. I think there's another word in there. Not sure what it is. Matsuri. Nebuta Matsuri Festival. So it's going to be our last festival for this trip. And it's going to be like big floats and parades. And we've seen a lot of, um, I mean I've seen a lot of photos of what's supposed to happen. So I'm pretty excited to see that. But as of right now, we're gonna get food because I'm star a big. Arriving at Aomori, it was so packed for the festival, but I immediately loved the vibes of being there. So the deal here is that you have to fish your Scallops. They only give you two minutes. So in that two minutes, depending on how many scallops you get, that's what you're gonna have. So oh gonna no! I feel <laughs> so don't bad. Oh, okay, so it's our turn. So two minutes, okay? Go, 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 go. could not pass up on more grilled scallops. These things make my eyes roll back, I swear. This meal itself was probably one of my favorite meals. Aomori has the best seafood I've ever tasted. So fresh and right by the ocean. Dad's first time eating scallop sashimi. He doesn't eat raw stuff very often. I believe that. <laughs> It like melts in your mouth. Good, right? <laughs> so 
so we just finished one of the best meals I've had so far. Bele is happy, and it's crazy because the sashimi does not taste at all the same as it is in Canada. Like, I'm just so accustomed to the taste of what it should taste like, or what it does taste like in Canada, that like, now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, this doesn't taste like sashimi, but it actually is how sashimi should taste, I guess. So it trips me out. Yeah, it's not fishy at all. Like, in my mind, when I was eating the tuna, I was like, wow, this doesn't taste like tuna. Yeah. But I guess it really is supposed to taste that way. You guys get it? We're on the same wavelength. Guys, that's a real dog. It looks like a stuffed animal. Oh! <laughs> this pup doesn't like getting filmed. It barks when it sees a camera in its face. Headed to the Nabuta Matsuri Festival filled with huge lantern floats accompanied by drums, musicians, and dancers. Local teams build these floats themselves and they often depict gods, historians, or mythical creatures. I was most impressed by the fact that these huge floats were pushed around by people that weave, bend, and spin around for everyone to see. The thing I love most about these festivals is seeing people of all ages sing and dance along with smiles on their faces. Convince my dad to try this because it's delicious. Mm, good. It's good, right? Because it's like crunchy yeah, and then ice cream yeah. creamy mm. on the inside. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Told you so. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm gonna take a viola. Sunny here, but we're at um, an onsen part of the city where there's just a whole bunch of hot springs everywhere. And in Japan, there's a lot of hot springs. Um, but apparently, like the station we're at right now, it just has a lot of hot springs in the area. So I think we're gonna go check some out. There's one actually right at the station right here. It's you just walk right over, and anyone can stick their feet in. You sit. Stick your feet in. We explored this area for most of the day and I love the fact that I got to visit a beach. We also got to hang out with some locals who we found catching some crabs and let us join in on their fun. Crabs over there. Wow! So cute! Kawaii! Yeah, kawaii! Cute! Japanese kawaii. Kawaii. Wow! 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 So cute. <laughs> I see little snails. Yeah, they walk around too. Watch, put it, put it, dangle it in. They're gonna start coming. Hanging out with the locals was one of the highlights of my trip. Even though we didn't speak the same language, we were able to communicate through our enthusiasm and smiles to have a great time. So we're about to visit an onsen, which is a hot spring. Okay, so we're going to this hot spring. I'm gonna take our shoes off. I don't know how much I can film inside, but we'll see. We 
just got out from the hot springs. I was sweaty and my hair is frizzy AF. But it was nice. I was like, not too many people in there. There's only me and a couple of other girls. And at first I was kind of uncomfortable, like being <gasps> for the 50th time. <sighs> Shopping my phone. At first it was a little bit uncomfortable, but then I was like, it actually feels really good. It feels really liberating to be naked and floating around. So I would do it again and I would bring a friend. We'd always see each other naked. We wrapped up the day with the best bowl of ramen I've ever had. It was a small mom and pop shop and was made freshly in front of us. Wait for the next one when we head back down south to Sendai and catch a little bit more of Tokyo.